From the outside looking in, Metro and Drake are good friends and better collaborators. But when you take a closer look, you start seeing the situation for what it is. Metro does not mess with Drake at all and Drake has known it for a while. That's probably why he dissed him on his own beat, knowing he couldn't do anything about it. Her loss was originally meant to drop on October 28th, 2022, until Taylor Swift announced she'd be dropping on the same day. Taylor Swift is supposed to have a historic drop next week. Nobody wants no smoke with Taylor. They decided they wouldn't drop it that week or the next because Metro's album was meant to be dropping the week after Taylor and they wanted him to have his moment. And while Metro didn't end up dropping until December, it is still worth knowing that Drake and Savage delayed an extra week for him. And when they did finally drop the album, Metro was credited as a producer. Ironically, on this song, Drake would foreshadow this whole situation and also take a slight dig at Metro. Stop pillow talking about how much you hate Drake, okay? Just stop it. We know how petty and tactical Drake can be. Drake don't do a diss like an outright diss song where it's a headshot, right? But it's all psychological, right? And if you didn't know this about Aubrey throughout the years, I don't know how. That is how he gets you back. <laughs> when Metro did eventually drop, he had every superstar in the urban music space on his album. Everybody except Drake, and his reasoning was somewhat sketchy. Just a few days after the release of Heroes and Villains, an unreleased Drake verse on the song Chance surfaced. Drake is a megastar. Obviously, Metro wouldn't leak the song as it would step on his release, at least not unless he's planning on dropping the remix. From this interview clip, you can tell he definitely wasn't planning on ever keeping Drake on the song or dropping it as a remix later on. He did, he did some stuff, a couple parts was cool, but like, I just felt like, I was like, Brian didn't try to sell you no dream. Like, mm. It was right. just wasn't no room, it wasn't no personal, it just wasn't no room, so I guess the other one just leaked or something. Mm. Yeah. It didn't just leak. Drake's team is so militant and they keep everything in-house. Nothing leaks unless they themselves greenlight it. The last time a Drake song actually leaked was when Trippy Red played a song in the club when he wasn't supposed to. That night when the clips came out, people forced my hand because they were like, yo, that sounds hard. And we had to rush. I had God's plan in my phone for the longest, never recorded the verse. Drake wasn't even planning on keeping the song for himself, and that's the only reason Trippy even had it. So for all the people that are going to be finding me in the comments about Drake not leaking the song, just relax, he, he leaked it. And it's not the first time he's done something like this. Back when Fetty Wap was still hot, Drake made a call and asked him if he could be on the My Way remix. Only thing was the song was originally intended to belong to Monty and not Fetty. You asked Drake if he could take you off the record and keep your mans on. First thing I asked him, like, yo, can you just take my verse off and keep Monty up there and it just be let me be on the hook? And what a fatal mistake from Mr. Wap. Drake was never about to get on your unknown homie song, bro. You think he thought you were ungrateful? Probably, most likely. So after that slap in the face, the remix with Drake suddenly just leaked. Drake then went ahead and dropped the remix on his SoundCloud without Fetty's homeboy. So he just put it out on SoundCloud? I wouldn't say he did it, but I guess somebody from his camp did it. Somehow, the song leaked. <laughs> but if you don't want this out, okay. Watch this. Why Fetty didn't know that that was gonna happen? And Fetty never heard from him ever again. Drake went to a Metro session specifically to work on Metro's album only for him to act brand new on the boy. And he probably felt slighted and decided somewhat to step on Metro's release. And in the past, Drake has been known to be a little sensitive. Metro clearly didn't like Drake leaking the song, so he retaliated in the most Metro way possible, posting the original version of Knife Talk, but without Drake. Metro had the song. The song was originally meant to be on Savage Mode 2, but they ended up giving it to Drake. I had that song. That song yeah. was supposed to go on Savage Mode 2. He did his verse the day before the album came out. He did his verse. Well, I mean, you know, however, however Drake wanted to do it, man, it's fine. I don't know what point Metro was trying to prove with this move, but as we've seen in the past, Metro was also a little emotional at times. Next up, we got DJ Academics. Months before Ag and Metro would have a little clash. Ag was on stream reacting to Metro taking Drake off of his album and posting Knife Talk. If you listen clearly and watch carefully, you can see that Ag was in the know about some information that he couldn't really expose at the time. I oh, don't know. I feel there's a, a little uneasiness there, but his answers, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Uh... My reaching? He had no real reason to out Metro, but you could tell he definitely knew what was going on. Oh. I'm trying to figure out if Metro be hating on Drake. Like, I, I guess this is what I'm trying to say. Cause look, he's been doing a little shady things. Like he shared the OG version of Knife Talk without Drake. Like, why would you do that, brother? 
And if Ak is hearing from multiple sources about Mitchell's dislike for Drake, there's a huge chance that other people know about it as well. So when Mitchell disrespects him, he finally is able to say what he has known for a long time. Don't tell me how to run my pace, because Mitchell, I know a whole long laundry list of you done pillow talk to, talking shit about this person, doing this weird shit people said about you. I don't know why you hate Drake, but um, uh, uh, it's kind of like a friend of me thing. I think you still produce for him, but you know what I mean? The hate is strong in your heart for the boy Aubrey, man. There's a lot more where that came from including some shit that some people wanted to get on here to talk about too. Say what you will about academics, but he's built his whole brand on honesty. Metro is always on Twitter addressing things and being vocal about everything. If he didn't have a problem with Drake, he could have easily cleared it up. Instead, he's liking tweets which further prove that he did not appreciate Drake League in a song, and rightfully so. They tell you it's not personal, but everything is personal. 